Hello everyone, welcome to the 35th episode of the Survival Let's Play. So I've done a lot of extensions in terms of this, uh, the nether bridge. So as you can see, it's getting quite big up here. We just gotta get rid of this guy. Ah, this is why I love bows. Oh, oh no, that's unfortunate. But anyways, let's head back to the base. Oh, night time already. Oh, it's like time always flies faster than ever. Not just the number of blocks you move. That's a lot of eggs. Thank you very much. But anyways, the plans. I'm going to be getting uh, some concrete and making a sort of farm of getting... Uh, like I've got concrete powder, so I'm going to be turning that into proper solid concrete so I can start getting materials for my new base. I'm also going to need lots and lots of glass, which I'm been making here, mainly for that bridge across the nether, but also for my new base. Ten hours left, that's not good. Even more flint will be needed. There we go. So this is where I'm going to be building the new, uh, was it, the enchantment room, I'm just going to be in that new base, and among other things. So that way I'm going to be getting some good enchantments, silk touch and fortune primarily, and hopefully getting some mending, but I heard those are quite hard to get, so maybe I'll try to use one of their librarians from far away, or make it a librarian. So that way I'm going to be getting more bows, well, more arrows for my bows so that ghasts will just be easy to deal with. Because deflecting those ghast balls just on time is a nightmare, especially when I'm inside, um, what's it called, my uh, bridge, which is behind windows. Yeah, not the best experience, I can say.
Anyways, for my new base, I'm going to be locating it pretty nearby, actually. It's not going to be all the way out there, you know, all the way in the ocean, and the rivers and all that, like I had originally planned, or floating in the middle of nowhere. It's going to be in the cherry biome. So I've been clearing out the area near the cherry biome in the place that I am going to be putting my base. So I do have a short in my channel where I show the little process in a very satisfying manner. Placing some water buckets and then having all these petals just drop. Can't deny that is quite satisfying. Already got a bunch of stacks. And it always rains so much in this biome. Well, generally in Minecraft, it just rains. I think it even rains in the night, in the air. Uh, was it the sand biomes, the deserts? So I'm gonna need to build my base here. Well, somewhere around here. So I'm gonna need a nice big flat area. Somewhere here. So this means flattening out this space and doing a lot of digging. I'm gonna need to go through a lot of iron shovels. I did a little off screen mining, so I got lots of iron. So that won't be as much of an issue. So this is the place I'm going to be putting my base, so, which means clearing out a lot of this dirt. I'm having the urge to make a diamond shovel to make this quicker. <laughs> The great thing about pink petals that, is that they can be used to make pink dye, which will be very useful for my concrete. And then I can also use them in a composter to make white dye very easily. So they're just really efficient. Because I can make bone meal and then white dye. Got to fill in these holes. These are way too many petals. For a mid-game tool, iron just has the worst durability. Like, I just cleared out that area. 
and my iron shovel is already pretty much nearly done. So like I'm pretty sure IRL iron shovels are still a little longer than that, than like one use, practically. I think I'm getting a little lag. A little more. Okay, I think that should be enough for now. I have plenty of sand. I need to get more gravel. Uh, okay. So I got nearly two stacks of white concrete powder. So I just need to turn a bunch of that into white dye and then get some more white concrete. means I'll need a bit more, I'll need a little more of uh, that gravel. I'm gonna need to make a whole chest just for pink petals in my new base, actually. This is a lot, a lot, a lot. But this also means I'll need to replace some of the blocks. Not here. Oh, there it is, gravel.
Oh, oh, careful there. Oh, it... That's safer. Now here we go. Finally. Oh, I actually built a lot of this on gravel. One, two, three. Just got a little more. Okay. One, two, three, four. I'm just gotta fix this up. There we go. So I got plenty of gravel now. And a bit of flint. That'll be useful for making more arrows. Hopefully I can get an infinity en enchantment on my bow. Or a power enchantment. That way I can kill ghasts instantly. But a crossbow can also be useful for that. So I guess I'll go with that instead. I actually think about building a crossbow would be pretty useful. Okay, minerals, sand, sand, got white dye, that should be plenty. Perfect, white concrete. Good. If, how many stacks of this I have now? I have four stacks and eight extra. That's going to be quite useful. Nine flint. Okay. And uh, I think I also have some flint under there, right? Seven flint, nine flint. Also going to need some feathers, which means breeding my chickens. Right. 
Time to do Alabama, everyone. Breed. Breed. Have your chicken orgy. Amazing. I have the resources necessary. I think it's time I can make my arrows. I suppose that's where we can end this episode, sort of just re collecting resources and stuff like that. So that'll be it. Maybe next episode I'll find a horse. Well, see you all, and subscribe.